What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be interesting. We got to uh, hurry up and pack up some animals because we are going to my daughter's school and we are doing a reptile presentation and they're letting us bring venomous snakes in. So, I have a list of stuff that my daughter wants me to pack up. She did reports on all of the stuff that she'll be presenting to her class. She's going to be talking about some of the non-venomous reptiles, uh, where they're from, their ecosystems, what they eat, diets, things of that sort, so a little bit of the pet trade. Mainly, she's going to be talking about venomous and how venom is used in the medical field, uh, everywhere from skin cream to treating cancer to stitch replacement. So, we're going to be working on that next. I got the list. First things first, we're going to go ahead and pack up Jimmy. All right. So, we got Jimmy here. We're going to go ahead and get him ready. Tape up his mouth for safety, even though, as you can tell, I really don't need it. But I'm not taking any chances when we got children at a school. So we're going to go ahead and tape them up just like we would for a reptile show. All right, so we're going to pack up some of the venomous. We got a small monocle cobra right here that we're going to pack up. We're also going to bring a copperhead. But I do want to show you guys how I do this because most of my venomous snakes are in venom-proof cages. But the ones that are too small or that I still keep in snap top containers, I double cage them. So in here you'll see I have an old Neodesha cage. This cage is probably 40 years old, uh, completely sealed up. It's an escape-proof cage. But also inside of that, once I take this out, in here is my snap top bin for the copperhead. So always remember escape proof, escape proof, escape proof. We do not need venomous snakes loose in the United States, period. So bin in a bin. Just want to show you guys that quick. So next, let's go ahead and let's get these uh, packed up. All right, so what we're gonna use for some of the venomous displays is my locking acrylics because they completely lock with the key. So that way uh, I don't have to worry about anything escaping or any dangers. I want these students to be educated today, but I want everything to be safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one. We're gonna put the Monaco Cobra in here. Now, I'm not a big fan of sliding, pulling out the front if I don't have to. So I'm actually gonna tip this cage back that way I can slide it up and lift her up from the front. Now you guys probably are going to recognize this cobra. I've had her for a little while now and she's one of my favorites here even though she has no morphs whatsoever. So we're going to slide this forward and then we're going to get her safely up. Oh, come on, bro. First thing I want to do is get her nice and calm. Slide this hook, making sure she doesn't get pinched. And there we go, Monocle Cobra's packed up. Go ahead and grab the copperhead next. There we go. Come on, take this. Go ahead and take this young male here because he's very pretty. Shows a lot of them cool colors. There you go. And of course, typical copperhead doesn't like hiding them up. And there we go. Put the lid back on here. And there we go. Two of them packed up. And we got the rest of the list to go, which isn't super bad, I guess. So let's get moving right on to the next thing. Alright, so. If any of you guys have ever been to one of my shows and seen one of my venomous displays, you guys are probably wondering how I get these snakes into these Lexons, and this is how I do it. I actually put the Lexon inside another bin, so that way I've got a little bit of lead way to work with the snake to get them manipulated into that Lexon. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pack up Marissa. I already got it ready to roll. I'm going to sit 
simply get this set, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get her in there. This, uh, it's gonna be a little tricky sometimes. But let's see how it goes today. Two hooks because this one? Yeah, that's fine. I want two hooks just in case because she's a bigger bodied snake. Yeah, go ahead and pull her just like so. There's a big old left in right there. Generally, you will go right in just like that. And there you go. That is exactly how I get her done. Alright, so I definitely can't do an educational program without bringing Romeo, our red Argentine Tegu, and he is back here behind my gun cabinet. He's trying to go into brumation. Well, he is going into brumation, but we're gonna go ahead and pull him up, put him in a bin. Uh, let me get him real quick. So we got Romeo, our Argentine Red. He is a beautiful, beautiful boy. We're gonna go ahead and get him binned up. They're gonna absolutely love him at the school today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab Peaches. Peaches is our uh, Coral Albino Boa. We've had her for a very, very, very long time. She is a complete sweetheart. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and show the school her today. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in here. Alrighty. Alright, so I decided that uh, I'm going to surprise my death daughter to bring an extra snake. We're going to go ahead and bring our Sidewinder, which you guys uh, remember the Sidewinder from this video right here. Go ahead and check that out. She got compacted and we had to save her life and she's been doing wonderful ever since. She's been feeding, pooping, shedding, doing all the stuff you want a snake to do. So, we're going to go ahead and show her off. This is actually my wife's favorite snake in the collection. She is just a doll. So, there we go. Got her packed up. So, that pretty much does it. That pretty much wraps it up for everything that I got to get packed up. I am going to go ahead and get the truck warmed up so that way everything's nice and warm when it gets out there. Load up. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys anything at the school, but I will check back in at a bare minimum once it's finished. So, let's roll. I've been working with reptiles since I was 11 years old. Um, I was homeschooled, started working for herpetologists, traveling all over the United States at 11. Um, by 17, I started off on my own. Uh, I've been working with venomous reptiles for about 15 years now. And uh, basically, it's my life passion. I uh, breed, raise all different species. I go all over the United States to different trade shows. I do different educational programs. Uh, I run a YouTube channel. And I also have the only cage company in the world that's specifically designed for venomous snakes. So, uh, that's the answer to bring this stuff in today. I'm going to let her kind of talk about the specifics. And then, if you guys have any questions, I'll answer them for you. And then uh, we'll do some, uh, introduce you to some of the non venomous stuff. Yeah. back that was absolutely amazing we actually did two separate classes actually I didn't even know we were gonna do that so we did the first set that you guys seen then we had about a half hour break and then the second class came in and we did a whole nother one it was absolutely amazing I loved educating all the people on the venomous and the non venomous and all the things that the venomous used for in the world it was really amazing we had a lot of good reactions from the school and from the students a lot of good questions everyone had an amazing time 
Uh, they actually asked if I would be willing to do that every year now, which of course I agreed. And I also decided to donate a leopard gecko to the school for a classroom pet, which is going to be pretty cool. They're getting their setup already, and I'm going to help them out with that. And uh, they'll be delivering, I will be delivering that gecko very soon, probably in the next week or so. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. Thanks for coming along on this journey. We had a good time today. You've been watching What's in Your Backyard. I'm Joe Challoner. We'll see you next time.